Hello viewers, this video lecture is for the subject theory of computation and we are going to see one topic from first unit. This is the first topic introduction to formal proof and additional forms of proof. And the objectives of seeing this topic is to understand the concepts of formal proof and to apply additional proof methods in problem solving. First of all, let us see the introduction to theory of computation. The theory of computation is the branch of computer science that deals with how efficiently problems can be solved on a model of computation using an algorithm. The TOC field is divided into three major branches. First one is automata theory and language. Second one is computability theory. Third one is complexity theory. Automata theory deals with the definitions and properties of different types of computational models. These for example such models are finite automata, context free grammars and Turing mission. Finite automata is used in text processing, compilers and hardware design. Context free grammars are used to define programming languages and which is used in artificial intelligence. Turing machines are a simple abstract model of a real computer such as our PC. Then we can see about formal proof. Formal proof is a well established research approach. The goal of using formal proof is to provide certainty about the validity of a statement. We will start with the definition of the problem and we will use the set of accepted axioms. A proof follows the logical inference rules. We will uh, inference through the rules and until the statement is validated or refuted. That means to prove some statement, we will start from the definition. We will follow the rules. We will apply the accepted previously accepted axioms. And we will go in this manner until the statement is validated or refuted. Nowadays, proofs are used in many theoretical disciplines including logistics, mathematics, physics and computing. Now, the formal proof can be divided into two types, inductive proof and deductive proof. Inductive proof means it is a recursive kind of proof which consists of a sequence of statements, parameterized statements that use the statement itself with lower values of its parameters. That is initially lower values of the parameter will be applied then uh, next complex values of the parameters will be applied to prove the statement. And deductive proof. In deductive proof the truth of a statement is shown by detailed sequence of steps and reasons. In deductive proof it, the procedure consists of sequence of statements whose truth leads us from some initial statement called as hypothesis or the given statements to the conclusion statement. So we will analyze from the initial statement or the hypothesis then we will go through analyzing and we will apply the appropriate statements until we get the conclusion statement. So in deductive proof we will deduce something from the uh, existing statements. By applying the existing statements we will try to prove the new statements that is called as deductive proof. Now we are going to see one theorem example for the deductive proof. If x greater than or equal to 4 then 2 power x greater than or equal to x square. Proof. Hypothesis. Normally in the deductive proof we will have left hand side and right hand side. The, uh, the proof will be like h then C that is if hypothesis H is true then uh, right hand side C is true. Here hypothesis H is X greater than or equal to 4 and in our hypothesis we have the parameter X and thus neither true nor false. Its truth depends upon the value of X. The truth of the hypothesis depends upon the value of X. So in this theorem uh, they are telling if x greater than or equal to 4 then the conclusion 2 power x greater than or equal to x square. And we can apply to prove the theorem we have to apply some values for x. So if we apply let us apply x equal to 6. 
so in left hand side we are getting 6 greater than or equal to 4 which is true and in the right hand side uh, when we apply 6 to x 2 power x greater than or equal to 6 square so 64 greater than or equal to 36 which is also true so when we apply 6 to x we are getting true and uh, true tends to true in both sides we are getting true and we can apply 2 to x when we apply 2 to x in the left hand side we are getting false that is 2 greater than or equal to 4 is false and in the right hand side 2 power 2 greater than or equal to 2 power 2 that is 4 greater than 4 equal to 4 so we are in the right hand side also we are getting true so in this uh, when we apply 2 to x we are getting the condition like false tends to true and we can apply some more values to uh, x so previously we have applied two values by that we got something that is the statement uses x is true the statement is true for certain values of x and not for other values and again we can apply some more values that is if we apply x equal to 3 we are getting false to false if we apply x equal to 4 we are getting true to true and true if we are getting x equal to 5 we are getting t true tends to true so we can conclude that the, our theorem will be true whenever x greater than or equal to 4 if we apply x value greater than or equal to 4 then only we can our theorem is true for all other values that is lesser than 4 values this theorem is not true so this is an example for the inductive proof theorem and also we can see various forms of proof the additional this is otherwise called as additional forms of proof and the additional forms of proof are proof about sets proof about contradiction proof by contradiction and proof by counter example proof about sets we may heard about set theory a set is a collection of elements or items by giving proof about the set means we will try to prove certain properties of the sets for example if there are two expressions a and b and we want to prove the both expressions a, a and b are equivalent for example p union q we are consider p union q as a and we are consider uh, we will consider q union p as b so we, we want to prove a equal to b that is p union q equal to q union p so we need to prove p union q equal to q union p <coughs> we are going to consider one element that is one item one element x is in a if and only if it is present in b so actually we want to prove p union q is equal to q union p to prove that it is enough to prove one ele one particular element is present in both left hand side and right hand side so we are considering the left hand side as a and the right hand side is b so it is enough to prove that x if x is in present in a then it should be also present in b <coughs> so we are going to prove the left hand side x is in p union q so we should remember about the union operation all the p union q means all the elements of the p and the elements available in the q will be concatenated and the all elements will be present in p union q so if x is in p x is in p union q means in the second statement we can see x is in p or otherwise x should be in q then only it will x will come in p union q and the third statement again we can say the second statement can be rewrite as x will be in q or x will be in p so on the whole we can say x is in q union p and the right hand side in this way we can prove the right hand side that is x will be in q or x will be in p and combinedly we can say x will be in q union p uh, the same thing we can uh, write in another manner that is x will be in p union q so by that we can say the statement number 4 x will be in p or x will be in q that is the 
feature of the union operation isn't it if x is present in p union q means x will be either in p or q so hence the statement is proved if p union q is equal to q union p is proof proved and second thing is proof by contradiction contradiction means negation negative thing okay proof by contradiction means to prove something uh, we will take the negation uh, statement of that concept we will negate the concept or we will take the negative statement of the concept and then we will try to prove the negative statement if we failed to prove the negative statement means the positive form of the statement or the corresponding positive statement is true so that is the concept behind proof by contradiction for example p union q equal to, to the same uh, expression we are going to prove the same expression but in this in this method that is proof by contradiction method uh, first of all we will assume p union q is equal to q union p is not true we are taking the negation statement okay we will assume this particular uh, statement is not true then we are going to prove this is true that is we are going to prove uh, p union q is equal to q union p is not true so uh, let us consider x is on one of the element one item in the above set so x if x is in q or x is in p union q but this is also imply that x is in q union p according to the definition of union so hence the assumption which are made initially is false false so we try to prove the assumption that is uh, the statement is not true but we failed to prove the statement so hence the original statement is true that is p union q is equal to q union p is true hence the original statement is proved and the third one is proof by counter example so this proof structure in this method the proof structure allows us to prove that a property which is not true by providing an example where it does not hold it is the technique used in mathematics so in mathematics concept a statement is shown to be wrong by finding a single example for when it is not satisfied for example uh, to prove a particular statement in this manner we need to see all the possible conditions in which that statement remains true but there are some situations in which that statement cannot be true for example a mod b equal to b mod a when we consider some values like a equal to 2 and b equal to 3 2 mod 3 is not equal to 3 mod 2 so the common things will not for some values the common things or common feature will not be satisfied for some values so this is the concept of proof by counter example and let us see the possible university questions under this topic derive any inductive proof theorem describe the types in formal proof method thank you all